Benzino had to get off of a flight, got kicked off the flight, and here's the audio of him getting escorted off. You're an idiot. You're a f***ing idiot. All right? You're a racist bastard. You're a racist bastard. Mother You're a racist mother All right? you. That's exactly right. All right? All right? All right? All right? All all right, so everybody on the plane started walking off. He's yelling, I ain't do nothing wrong but sit in first M F in class. F an idiot. So why'd they kick him off? Well, apparently, uh, because the, whoever was the attendant on the flight questioned him about his seat. I guess he was in first class. And that's when he just started going crazy and cursing and ended up getting kicked off the flight. Well, uh, I have sources who work at that airline, and they say the incident had nothing to do with racism. They say Benzino wanted a neck travel pillow, and they refused to give him one on Shut the grounds he doesn't have a neck, and he had a fit. <laughs> That's what I heard. That is not what That's happened. That's what I heard. Yeah, not for nothing. That happens quite a lot. When, well, when, people when with no first... necks don't get neck travel pillow? <laughs> no, you what? ass. is when you sit in first class and you don't, quote unquote, look like you're supposed to be in first class. They always ask you, uh, sir, can I see your ticket? No, you can't see my mother. That's happened ticket. to you before? Yes, and I do the same thing. No, you can't see my ticket. You mean to tell me with all of these rappers and singers and athletes? I, think I would think they'd be with, used to it. Yeah, right with hip hop sensibilities. They're not used to that yet? Nah, still not. It happens to me a couple times. Well, that's why I sit in coach, to avoid uh, having to avoid any, any confusion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> avoid confusion. Exactly. Sir, you're at the back of the I'll, plane, sir. I'll just fly JetBlue. Listen, sometimes... Well, everybody's first Now, here's class. a little tip, no, and I hate, to, I hate to give this tip blue. up, but I did this uh, the other day when Envy and I went to... Where did we go? Houston? Houston, yep. Yes, you can uh, actually upgrade from coach to first class if you do it within 24 hours for like $80. Absolutely. So instead of paying... Two thousand dollars for a flight, you can pay the coach price, and then twenty four hours before, if there's seats left, you can upgrade. For yeah, 80 but bucks. That, that's according to the airline and availability, though, right? Well, yes, yeah, it but is. it's worth oh. a shot. You know, I just recommend that you try That was a seventy dollars shot. Just fly jet blue, man. Extra leg room, TV. Twenty five dollars for extra leg Everybody room. Everybody yes. looks like first class. Everybody. All right, Buster Rhymes is having some financial issues. Now they're saying that he owes about. Almost $800,000 in taxes. So he got two tax liens, and he didn't pay taxes uh, back in 2008 and back in 2012. So mm. you, what was that for? <laughs> Not the IRS don't play, boy. When yeah. they want their money, mm. they didn't. Mm. Yeah, when I start hearing about the IRS issues now, I feel like about, I hear when I hear people get killed. I don't want that to happen to me. Now I get chills. God bless them. All I right. wish them the best. Please. And Rob Kardashian, you'll be happy to know, is determined to drop some weight. Now, we told you he left the Kanye Kim wedding because he didn't want to take any family photos. He felt too fat. Well, now he has a called up celebrity trainer, Gunnar Peterson, and he's going to work out every single day. Good. So we'll uh, keep track of that and see him lose weight because he's been depressed about it. And I talked about this this morning, but in case you didn't see, 50 Cent did throw out the first pitch no. for the Mets. And Horrible. You could tell 50 never really played sports as a kid. They're saying right now this could be considered the worst ceremonial first pitch in the history of the Mets surpassing uh, the Howard Stern producer for that honor. He, and he's 50, not a actually did, player, though. 50 actually did an interview. Right afterward, and he said, 50 Cent is the best. Curtis Jackson, I don't know what's the matter with him. So he's saying that was Curtis Jackson that actually threw that pitch. But you know, you never see 50 playing any sports. Like, there's never, like, a pickup he, game, and you see 50 playing basketball, or you never see him playing softball. You see him doing pull-ups. Yeah, yeah, he, he always looks in shape. He's he a, can fight. Yeah, body he, build, he fight. Can, he can't throw a pitch, though. Oh, they should have let him shoot. There's no baseball fields in Southside Jamaica, Queens. He would so. definitely hit the catcher if he was shooting. <laughs> definitely hit the, hit the catcher. Definitely. Yeah, but your son, Logan, could definitely <laughs> could definitely beat 50 at a game of baseball. Absolutely. All right, and that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee.